What's up servants of the Emperor, Briggso here, and in this video I'm going over one of my favourite Ogryn builds in Warhammer 40k, Darktide. I'm calling this build the Unstoppable Ogryn build because the aim is to run into a group of enemies and start cleaving them apart with your cleaver. This build is not just built for Horde Clear though, as we also have some spicy stuff in here that helps us deal with a wide variety of enemies. Before we jump into this build I just want to take a moment to thank everyone for the success of the videos that I've released recently. I can't tell you how grateful I am for all the views I've gotten since starting making videos about this game. It's definitely lit a flame in me to start making more content around Darktide in the future. So if you enjoy the content that I'm releasing, if I could ask you to like the video and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Introductions aside, let's get straight into the talent tree. First up we have our toughness recovery package of Smashem and Lynchpin. These talents help us get our toughness back based on doing heavy attacks to a single target, and help us recover our toughness faster while in coherency. We also have help from our melee weapon to recover toughness too, but more on that later. Also at the top of the tree we take Furious and Heavyweight. Furious increases our melee damage after using heavy attacks, and Heavyweight increases our damage to our Ogryn brothers that have fallen to chaos. We then go down the left side of the tree to pick up a toughness boost, then we pick up our Blitz ability, Big Friendly Rock. <laughs> which allows us to take down mutants, and if you're a good enough shot, snipers, which is immensely satisfying. Rocks are also useful for staggering bulwarks, which gives us an opening to use our ranged weapon. After that we pick up slam, which adds 25% more impact to our melee weapon, and then we pick up another toughness boost. We then grab our combat ability of choice, which is indomitable, but I'm just going to call it bullrush. Bullrush is a very powerful tool when used in the right way. Horde of enemies? Get charging, sir. Players go down? Ogryn Ambulance Service, sir. Create a path for your teammates to push into a certain area? Push bad men out way, sir. Bullrush not only pushes people over, but it also gives us more movement speed, and a 25% attack speed buff, which is great for hacking through enemies. We also pick up the Stomping Boots Blitz modifier, so we can regain toughness for each enemy we hit as we're charging. A tip to using Bullrush in large crowds is to cancel the charge when you have reached your desired location. To do this, simply dodge backwards to cancel your charge. This is useful when you're in the middle of a large horde and you want to capitalise on having that plus 25% melee speed buff. Moving on, we pick up a plus 5% rending boost, then pick up both crunch and batter, to do even more damage, impact, and apply bleed stacks on heavy melee hits. After this we pick up the Bonebreaker's Aura, which adds even more damage to our heavy melee attacks, and then move down to the bottom part of the tree by picking up a plus 5% melee boost and another toughness boost. On the left side of the tree we pick up Delight in Destruction, which gives us a big chunk of damage resistance the more things that are bleeding, and as we now have the ability to make things bleed from our heavy attacks, this comes in very useful. We then also take Dominate, which gives us more rending when we take down an Elite. We then move over to the middle tree to pick up Attention Seeker, which allows you to taunt an enemy by pushing them, which can be useful to take the aggro of problematic threats from your team. We then take Payback Time which buffs your melee damage after being hit, which is particularly useful when you're in the middle of a horde. We also grab Get Stuck In which makes everyone move quicker when you use Bullrush, before moving on to Bruiser. Bruiser is great for giving us some more uptime on our combat ability, which means more killing things. After this we pick up another toughness boost, and then grab Won't Give In, which gives us more damage resistance when your teammates go down. We then grab a 10% health boost, and then move down to Feel No Pain, and grab all of its keystone modifiers. Feel No Pain is insanely good, and with all of its modifiers it means we get a plus 25% damage reduction and plus 50% toughness replenishment. We can also gain a stack of Feel No Pain by pushing enemies, and when all stacks are gone, it knocks back all surrounding enemies and gives us plus 25% toughness. For our melee weapon we have our handy dandy Bull Butcher Mark III Cleaver, and we pair it with the Slaughterer and Momentum Blessings. Slaughterer is perhaps the best melee blessing in the game, as it gives us a 25-40% to power buff for killing 5 enemies. Momentum is also great for making us unstoppable in hordes, as the more we swing, the more toughness we get which feels absurdly overpowered. This weapon is insanely easy to use, as we can mash light attacks to cleave through hordes of enemies and replenish toughness as we go. But remember, we've taken a lot of talents around heavy attacks, so make sure to throw one in every now and again and not be a fish-brained chimp like me. Me mash buttons, yes? Our ranged weapon of choice is going to be the Faux Rend Mark II Ripper Gun, and oh boy do I love this thing. We put the Blaze Away Blessing on it to get more power when shooting from the hip and when bracing it. 
Blaze Away is great for chopping down enemies at range when we can't close the gap with Bullrush. The main star of this weapon is the Blessing Can Opener, which turns this thing into an up-close and personal monster. Can Opener applies Brittleness, which is a debuff to the enemy that makes them take more damage by everyone on the team. By simply pressing the Special Attack button, we can stab our victim to apply a 50-80% to Brittleness debuff, depending on the Blessing tier. At the highest tier of this Blessing, it means that we can stab a Crusher and then hipfire our weapon to wipe it off the face of a Toma. We can do this with most enemies in the game, and I highly recommend this be your choice of takedown for all Elites and Specials, apart from Mutants. It is also worth noting that the special attack from your ranged weapon is counted as a heavy attack, so it will apply bleed, give you more damage resistance, more toughness, and more damage and impact from the talents we chose before. That sums up this unstoppable Ogryn build which I highly recommend you give a go. If you lasted till this part of the video then thank you, and please consider liking and subscribing. I'm now going to leave you with some footage of this build taking on the brand new mission from the Traitor Curse. It was my first time doing the mission and I felt like this build performed extremely well. Thanks again for watching this video and enjoy the footage. Copy that.
Conscripts Trap with more down. loyalty. Come on, get going, lad. Getting close next time. Make the Medicaid station. Looking forward to it, son. Not sure I like Metal Face. She's always watching me. For the Emperor! Carkers can't stop us! For the Emperor!
Of not dead dog, biggest and baddest dog in heaven. Strive the greatness, and perhaps your legend will exceed his. Thank <laughs> you. 
My seal
Incoming! 